Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your second reading that I promised. I did a deep dive yesterday, and I wanted to also um, honor those of you who appreciate the shorter videos. Uh, welcome to Claire Audience Truth Speaker. I go by the name of Q. I appreciate you all tuning and tapping in. Today is Thursday, Thor's Day. So we're going to see what's happening with your fundamentals, beloved. We're going to see what that paper looking like. We're going to see what the jobs are saying. We're going to see what's incoming in terms of your career, perhaps. Maybe business endeavors. Maybe you all are entrepreneurs and you want to know if that business deal is going to go through. So we're going to look at the cards and see what they have to say. If you are new here, I am... Uh, an empath. I'm also an intuitive reader and I am a clairaudient reader. So I do incorporate music into my readings and the way that it works, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe the timestamp, maybe even, you know, the title of the video. Um, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing and it all just blends very beautifully. Um, my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones if the reading doesn't apply let it fly by do not try to force anything ever to be your story if it doesn't fit uh, my readings are also timeless so whenever this video is popped up in your feed that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so beloved so because today is jupiter's uh day it's the day uh jupiter uh rules this day i should say that is why we will be focusing on finance and career and money and moolah and cheddar cheese, biscuits and dough, beloveds. We're going to see what that money is looking like. To all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I appreciate y'all. I honor you all. I thank you all. I appreciate all of the newcomers, everybody that's coming in, everyone that said, oh man, your videos stop popping up in my feed and I, I forgot about your channel. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're back, beloveds. I missed you all. It was all divine time and everything happens for a reason. So you came on back to, you know, to the, to the, to the, to the essence. <laughs> so I appreciate you all. Um, thank you all for the comments. Thank you all for just for the feedback, for the love. It's been real good. I really appreciate it. You know, it makes me feel like, um, you know, I'm not doing this for nothing. You know, I, I like I always say, this is reciprocal. So I have been, you know, feeling the reciprocity. And what more could we ask for as readers? You know what I'm talking about? I want to know, are y'all there? <laughs> like, are y'all there? <laughs> That's like an inside joke in my house. <laughs> um, but yeah, we want to make sure y'all are there. <laughs> we want to make sure, is anybody home? Is anybody feeling this content can i you know let me get some feedback my love but yeah so we're going to tap in we're going to see what's going on well everybody is feeling grounded balanced in alignment healthy strong i'm feeling good i i can't even explain you know this is my solar return month so i'm very very excited um you know to be like you know approaching my physical day um, 333 three, three on the clock. Thank you, angels, just for the strength, for the love, the unconditional love, for your favor. I am truly, truly honored. The angels are with us, beloved. They've been walking with us for a minute, um, but they've really been showing up and showing out these past couple of readings uh, with all the 333s, three, three, threes, the 444s, four, four, fours, um, even their presence showing up in the readings. Um, it just makes you feel protected and divinely so like you feel divinely protected you feel like you have cover you know like you are covered armored um so that is amazing and i know it is not um it isn't just because i feel like you all have a purpose i've been saying that for the past two years like you all are spiritual teachers healers awakeners shamans light workers you all have some special gifts and i feel the time is now for you to start opening up those gifts and utilizing them you know but um we're gonna go ahead proceed with the read before we do let's go ahead see what the cards have to say love it we'll do some house cleaning first four 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 on the clock i just saw <laughs>
I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 yo, beautiful souls. So it is 555 five, five on this clock. So that is a synchronicity. And it is currently 1128, which is another three. So um, that breaks down to three, five, 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 breaks down to 15, which is six. So let's break down the five, five, five first. First and foremost, those fives, um, maybe some of you all are seeing fives. Maybe some of you all are definitely a five life path number. Maybe your address could be be five 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 maybe that five 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 which breaks down to six there is some sort of union or connection or alliance or partnership some sort of um some sort of uh collaborative um um union or partnership that you may be coming into i feel like it could be in alignment with like maybe you are um being offered an opportunity and you're going to be on a new team Maybe you're going to be hearing from someone that may want to uh, partner up with you in business. Maybe you will be, you know, working with investors. Maybe there's a sense of like new love coming in. This is the lover's card. Uh, there's definitely a triumph or some sort of breakthrough. Uh, it's like the, old, the roads are opening up. The path is opening up. The doors of opportunity, the doors of value, the doors of your personal healing and happiness, they are opening up and you feel victorious. I feel you have an audience that's seeing this. So maybe there's some sort of ceremony. Maybe you are getting, um, you're graduating or maybe you are um, getting some sort of certification. Maybe this is just in relation to your upcoming solar returns where there's going to be, you know, the celebration, partying, um, people just celebrating you, celebrating your success. Um, I'm also getting a sense of like moving. Maybe some of you all are relocating. You're starting to pack up. You're moving to a whole new um, state. I'm, I'm getting like you're leaving. Like I'm seeing an airplane and I'm seeing you packing up a truck and movers moving your things to your new location. Um, some of you all have made a decision to, to part ways with someone. Perhaps you're moving out. You're leaving a relationship, a long-term relationship. Maybe this is someone that you are uh, attracting and what they are um, going through at this time. Um, we also saw that three so that three definitely gives me a feeling of like the planet preparing strategizing trusting your gumption and uh being bold being you know very bold to take action to do what you desire because the six and the three reduces to nine so that definitely means there is a change that's necessary some sort of change um that needs to occur give me one moment i need to sip some of this tea before it gets cold beloveds Pardon me, my throat's been a little icky, 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 so I need a little bit of tea. So, um, so maybe there's just you know just a confirmation of change, you know, of completions, of wrapping up a cycle and starting something new. Um, but I am feeling this sense of independence, this sense of like feeling liberated, feeling free uh embarking on this new adventure this new life some of you all could absolutely uh be getting hired for like your dream job and you're relocating for that dream job um it's just it's a beautiful feeling i'm feeling i'm not feeling tense energy uh there could be some jitters of course that's normal for a new adventure so this energy I'm picking up is definitely giving um, 
change. It's definitely showing there's change, but I feel like this is due in part to your hard work. The three that I also saw is associated with that empress and she knows her worth. She knows her value. Even if you're masculine, you know your worth, you know your value, not settling for anything. Not even when it comes to a career choice. You're definitely not settling when it comes to a love option as well. So this is showing um, just that power, that confidence that you exude, which also that three definitely deals with. The three is about your confidence and your your courage and your strength. And um, this is your, your self-confidence as well, your self-esteem. Uh, this is all-encompassing of self-discipline, self-love, self-worth, self-value. So you will, you will show up um, as someone who like really owns their power opposed to someone who's really easily you know manipulated or easily um influenced that's not you you always stand firm and stand erect stand up for what you believe in so this is a beautiful energy of power beauty beauty resilient strength um success is this prosperity surrounding you i feel like you know there's just blossoming abundance and you coming into your own i feel like the ascended masters are the ones blessing you with this new opportunity with this new beginning 11 11 you may bump into your new love in this new locality in this new job in this new uh energy or space um and it's because you've given yourself the grace the time to heal and to not just move into something else after a breakup, rebounding and just messing up things. It's like, no, you took the time to really heal to Wusa because that six also is, you know, an energy of harmony, of balance. You know, you have that masculine and feminine energy. So I feel like you have mastered both of those attributes and characteristics of that masculine energy, which is really logical and, and cerebral and, you know, in, in, um, you know, that leader, that, that powerhouse and the feminine is really the nurturing, emotional, emotionally intelligent energy. Um, and that is all, you know, um, that's what you had to bring into harmony is those two properties. And that's why I get a sense of like, you know, now there's a victory that's coming through and it's because you've maintained that harmony. This sage is choking me out. So I got to move it. Love it. And put this over. Ciao. It's probably still going to blow in my face. We shall see. All right. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. That's what I'm picking up with. intuitively, beloveds. We'll see what the cards have to say. And let's also um, see what's playing on the playlist because we did not do that. So we have, who is this? This is Most Deaf. And the name of this song is called The Ponties. So yeah, you could be attracting, you know, a new love if somebody is you know, singing about the panties, most deaf is definitely like spirit is saying that you definitely have love. Uh, so if you're questioning it, if you don't believe it, it's like, it's definitely in your energy. So open your mind, be receptive, be open. Um, with the panties, I am feeling like there's going to be a strong sexual attraction uh, with someone. Maybe someone is going to have these uh, feelings, you know, erupting within them where they kind of want to get into the in the panties so you just got to be more discerning to know um you know do what you feel but make sure you are cognizant of your decision decisions and don't allow someone to manipulate you that six also deals with the first die that we saw so use intuition use discernment always the three also deals with that gut instinct that's like your first brain so this is perhaps just telling you to trust your inner gumption um and to trust your, your, you know, go with your first instinct, go with how you feel, go with that gumption, uh, never allow anyone to manipulate or dupe you. I saw 1414, which is five. I'm here and take your time to get things right. You don't have to rush the process because good things take time to create. But I also strongly feel a sense of like temperance. Like I feel the energy of patience, um, because you're learning, you know, that 14 breaks down to five. So there's moderations and changes that are being implemented within you, within your partner. Whenever I see double numbers for all of you who may be new, um, I feel that you are mirroring the energy of someone that you're attracting into your life and vice versa. Uh, so I am getting a sense of changes. I'm getting a sense of moderation. I'm getting a sense of correction, growth, learning, maturing, healing, um, 
and also discovering one's purpose, uh, being more creative artistically, expressing oneself, being more expressive, being more um, being more empowered. I just get a sense of empowerment. I get a sense of liberation, as I said. So let's see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively, my loves. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. So with the panties, I definitely feel someone's lusting after you. This could be someone just kind of like self-pleasing, looking at you, a secret admirer, watching from afar. Uh, we have this, uh, what is that, 93? That breaks down to 12. So someone sees you as a goddess. Someone sees you as a god, a lord, lordess, empress, emperor. You know, this is a happy ending here also. So that 12, yes, like I was saying, I was feeling somebody was kind of like watching you from afar or secret admire or something to that effect. And we have this 93, which breaks down to 12, which is definitely confirming that someone is seeing you differently. There's like an epiphany. This yellow card alludes to the fact that someone definitely feels like you bring some sort of light in their life, joy, peace. Um, they feel grounded. They feel like you, you bring that Zen energy, you know, it's just a very, um, a very magnetic energy. But then on top of that, you're very attractive. You're very beautiful. You just are um, radiant. You know, I'm hearing radiant. I'm hearing regal. Um, you know your worth. You know your value. Uh, you come off as very strong. You come off as someone very balanced, someone very confident. This is very attractive. This is attractive energy uh, because you are um, a leader. You're not like shying and you know, you're not like all meek and hiding behind the scenes. It's like when you step in the room, you change the vibration, the energy, you shift it. And um, your presence is felt, but it's also seen. It's also desired. Uh, so with this happy ending, I feel like whatever you are um, attracting to you, whatever you've been planning for, is definitely going to end well. Um, it's going to end favorably. I was feeling triumphs. I was also seeing victories and breakthroughs and the road opening up the doors of victory the doors of personal prosperity i saw 1717 that's 88167 so this is rushing in because that's the chariot and i feel like it's rushing in because you have grown you've grown personally spiritually emotionally you've definitely learned to to balance yourself as i said you're in harmony and that energy is just showing that you always trust your intuition when you make decisions you don't you're not influenced by anyone else's opinions. You're not influenced by unsolicited advice. Like you're, you're, you're firm in what you believe in. You'll take advice because, you know, you are aware there's others that may have information, affirmation that could be beneficial to you. But you are the type now, you use discernment. So that means you consider the source. You're not just taking anybody's advice because you have learned in the past that people that you trusted or people that you leaned on definitely um weren't solid they weren't um they weren't acting from a place of of wholeness of purity of genuinity or authenticity it was almost like they were um trying to line you up or plotting you know to to um malign something that you were working on so they would give you bad advice or they would plant seeds of doubt or they would tell people and spread your business or they would do things to try to undermine you in some way and now you're just more mindful to keep your business to yourself and make those power moves and once people are aware of what's going on yeah you'll speak on it but you're not like just just like what do you call it like you're not just voluntarily telling your business anymore you don't do that but this is what's leading to some sort of happy ending so this six i mean this three that this reduces to is showing that you're in that that empress energy or that emperor energy which is divine femininity divine masculinity which means you reach this uh, that level of self-mastery we have guy groove me on um playing so there's definitely a masculine feminines that are watching that wants to come in um they, they feel your, they, they want, like, they dig your groove. They dig the way you move, the way you, you know, the way you navigate the world. It's like, it's admirable, as I said. It's like, you come off regal because there's purple inside of here. So they do see you as like someone that they can, um, and this card is showing, but it's like, it's, it's like almost flipped. Like it wants to show the next card and I want to see. So it's the self-discipline. So forgiveness. So Forgiveness, as we saw yesterday in the former reading, the 
deep dive is always for you. Uh, this card also showed up in the reading yesterday. So they see you as this, this energy, you know, like they dig your groove. They dig the way you move. They dig the way you navigate. So with this forgiveness, um, I always feel like it's for you. I feel like this is a part of the reason why you've reached that level of self-mastery and why you can now like genuinely be happy. You know, when you uh, forgive others, you're not like weighed down energetically, emotionally to people from the past or circumstances from the past because you've taken the time to heal. Look what you have, a new beginning with a special special you know, person with a spiritual partner. This is that lover's type of energy. This could be a past life love. Um, this could be someone you know from your past. But this is definitely something sacred here. And this is someone that is attracted to you because this one is very felicious, which means that this guy that, you know, we got guy playing, whoever this guy is, whoever this gal or guy is, they have it. They have the hots for you. Let's just say it like that. Like they definitely very passionate. They feel this fire, this desire. Um, we definitely saw the panties. So I do feel like there's, you know, a desire to be intimate. Maybe someone, you know, uh, some ple pleases. Um, so let's tap in. Let's see what's coming in, going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios. Let's see what we have uh, financially. What kind of business partnerships do we have? What kind of money is coming in? What kind of opportunities are coming in? Maybe you'll meet this person at your place of employment is what I just heard as well. Some of you all are meeting your loves at your place of employment or you're meeting someone um, whilst you're pursuing something related to a business, you know, so you may meet them at like an esoteric shop or you may meet them, you know, somewhere that's directly related to your business or something that you do. Something, you know, it, whether it's a job, like I said, or it could be some, if you're an entrepreneur, or you have your own business, maybe it's at the UPS where you're shipping out packages, or maybe it's at the post office, or maybe it's at, like I said, an esoteric shop, whatever it is, it's like you're going to meet them there. Um, and I just saw 1144 on the clock. So we have 32 music and the song that's playing right now is we have D'Angelo Jones in my bones. So someone definitely has a Jones in their bone. That means, like I said, they got the hots for you. Someone at your job is is definitely crushing. I'm hearing the word crushing. I'm hearing the word feeling you. Um, this could be someone that also is into music. If you all are musicians, uh, there's definitely a sense. And I just saw 2244, so that's the angels. Um, there could absolutely be someone that is a musician, uh, whether you play an instrument, uh, whether you are a singer songwriter, whether you are a producer, um, whatever this is, you know, a beat maker, I heard beat maker, uh, whatever this is, it's like you may meet someone that's, you know, in the same, uh, that has the same passion. Uh, perhaps you all are Claire Audion as well, but I feel it was also telling me that this song with Jones and My Bones, you do have somebody that has a little crush, you know, they have a little, um, they're crushing on you. They're admiring you from a different distance. They're really wanting to speak to you, say something. This is someone that, um, could be kind of like, you know, kind of learning you, you know, kind of learning you because with groove, it's like they're trying to get into the groove or, you know, of, of, uh, perhaps asserting themselves. So they could be just sitting back kind of lurking and watching and you know learning as i said because that five also deals with the um, hierophant so again institutions work uh they can see marriage i do feel that somebody's name could be d'angelo someone could be from va virginia uh but i do feel someone has you know some sort of real um desire to s express something uh, perhaps they are a little bashful and maybe a little intimidated because when you come off as that, that divine feminine, divine masculine, it's like, you know, your worth, you're not settling. Maybe this person feels, you know, like, um, they just are unsure as to how you would, uh, how you would receive them, if you will. So we have 46 domestic harmony. So there is a change. I do feel like if you are, um, you know, at some sort of, uh, job that you are just like done done fin it's like you're leaving you know the peace is gone so you're going to find your peace you know and this reduces to 33 uh because three and two 
and 46 that reduces to one so this is six so it's like i do feel like there is movement i feel like you're moving away because this is who or what you're attracting to you in this 32 is the overall energy so i do feel like someone may communicate something and it may very well be music to your ears because someone may confess or express something to you that will make you feel you know flattered you'll feel flattered maybe this is someone at your job really you know expressing interest in perhaps taking you out taking you um on a date or whatever you know maybe even gifting you something for your soul return they could have caught wind of wind your solar return is, but I do get a sense of like, you know, with this domestic harmony that there is um, something that transitions, something that changes, you know, every end in denotes a new beginning. So I do feel like uh, whatever this is, it's a positive change because we did see happy ending. Um, I feel like this is giving you, you know, the the motivation to embark on your dreams because that six is showing me like the six of swords where there's a movement leaving the past behind leaving what no longer serves you behind um leaving what's stuck and stagnant behind and pursuing your goals because you know your worth now you know what you're deserving of um and you're just leaning and, and and relying solely on that passion that fire that desire within you to obtain whatever it is you desire to obtain whatever it is whether it be a new job whether it be a new experience whether it be love it's like you're going after it um, I see 22 intuition. Remember, we started the reading with that fifth, that um, 15, which was six. Now saying trust your intuition. I also feel that's what you do now. Like you don't do anything unless it sits right, feels right in your spirit. Someone also sees you as someone that has divine knowledge, divine wisdom. They feel you're psychic. Like you could read them. You could see right through them. Um, they definitely are looking at you as someone who um, is very loving, nurturing, caring, stable, self-sufficient, independent. Um, this four speaks to solidarity. It speaks to strength, speaks to sturdiness, speaks to stability. Um, and they see you as someone very stable. Uh, and I feel like it's because you've trusted your intuition or you've relied on your intuition, as I said, which has led you, you know, through some very, um, daunting experiences. Like it's, it's been like that, that guiding light for you that just the gumption and trusting what spirit is telling you um with this six and four this is ten so there's absolutely someone that could feel like because i'm i don't know why i'm seeing the ten of cups the ten of pentacles uh so you know i'm i'm, I'm getting a sense of like there someone is looking at you as someone that is deserving like they want to be generous like they want to make an offer um this is something that i feel is hidden because there could be background checks there could be someone just doing their due diligence someone making sure to um you know check the references uh do the background check as i said um and i feel like intuitively you know something is coming you know that there's some some new sort of circumstance because this is a 46 which insinuates an ending but every ending denotes a new beginning and as i said this all reduces to 10 so I do feel like there is something new that is uh, breaking through for you all. And we did see, you know, that um, that uh, new beginning card. I believe we saw that new beginning card. And we have Remedy um, meets Wu-Tang. And this is called Crazy Eights. So I do feel like with that Eights, um, you know, it's, it's speaking to, you know, past karmic situations that have, you know, really um, taught you to trust your intuition, taught you. Uh, to move a certain way, you know, to, because remember we had grooves. So someone's like trying to feel, you know, kind of get in the groove or trying to get a sense of, trying to get a sense of who you are as a person, you know, and it goes Katara kicking her litter around. Hope you all don't hear that, but let's see what we have. So I do feel like someone thinks that, you know, this is like, um, something that they want to invest in. Um, because I do get a sense of like, I'm seeing the four of wands. So that definitely speaks to building stability. It speaks to, you know, partnerships. It's a very celebratory energy even, because if you look at the four of wands, the traditional card, it's like they both have wreaths on their head and they're holding up these bouquets of flowers as if, you know, there's a celebration and then they're underneath a beautiful, um, 
it's like a beautifully decorated um altar if you will so let's tap in so what's hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpios thank you spirit and we have 19 pride so this is when you are in your own way but the tenton insinuates there's an ending someone is coming out of that ego coming out having like an ego death they're getting out of the pride remember we had crazy eight so some of you all definitely could be you know um dealing with karmic situations uh we have healing here for what's hidden and we also are going to use the rebirth card here so there's transformations healing from endings deaths uh but emerging someone new the outcome is 33 communication didn't i say someone wanted to communicate and then we have this 26 love partnership so some of you all definitely are coming into some sort of um union with someone i feel you work with that's just what I'm gathering. If it's not someone you work with, it's someone in the same line of business, someone that has the same passion, someone that you will bump into whilst handling your BI. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is absolutely going to evolve into some sort of love partnership. This is the eight, and I feel that saying it could be a wish fulfillment. Someone could be expressing, confessing. Um, their love, someone's having an epiphany perhaps that they love you, someone's having an epiphany that they have or hold these feelings and they're going to get out of their way, you know, because pride could get in the way and pride could also be the reason why someone was feeling a little stunted earlier. Maybe the music is giving someone the encouragement or awakening someone to, you know, how they feel because we have music. So someone could definitely, because we have 32, 33, so someone could definitely be listening to music and the music is kind of saying everything that they desire to say or they feel it's like the words in the song are describing exactly what they're feeling um and it's just awakening them to these emotions that they didn't realize they had or emotions that they were trying to suppress repress ignore deny um but what's hidden is we have this healing so someone could also be recovering from past love because we do see this domestic harmony so someone that you are attracting to you could be someone that works with you i feel um if this has nothing to do with uh, money because that's what we were supposed to be checking and it just looks like love wants to come out but i'm also gathering gathering that there is um some sort of transformation someone has changed after going through some sort of um startling metamorphosis or going through some sort of death of a relationship maybe they went through the demise of a love ship a partnership maybe this is just speaking in regards to the death of some sort of work dynamic uh with five and one that's six six and four that's ten that's one one and twelve that's three that's four four and seven that's eleven that's two two and six that's eight eight and eight that's sixteen that's seven someone's rushing in so someone's definitely coming in they're asserting themselves because i was feeling like someone's trying to get in the groove trying to you know to, to, to come towards you perhaps to express something because the 32 deals with the five the throat chakra and then that was just confirmed with communication so someone absolutely wants to communicate i feel like they've had some sort of like aha moment or there's been some illumination or clarity uh and they're gonna come towards you this is like someone coming in love coming in i'm also getting like the eight of cups like this positive movements forward uh because someone is owning their power third three 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 so that is three six nine twelve twelve that's three um so that is absolutely someone that is planning preparing strategizing and mustering up the strength the courage and the wise dome to take action um and i feel like they do because the seven is the chariot i feel like they've learned a lot i live i feel like they've um they are also trusting their intuition because the six absolutely deals with the uh first eye so they are using their spiritual you know that spiritual eye to see into this situation and they're having an ego death because i do feel like spirit um has given them you know whatever epiphany whatever download whatever divine intervention that was necessary or needed in order to um bust this dope move to come towards you because that seven is like the chariot is willful it's determined as i said it's assertive uh, this could be also just like that job, get receiving communication about a new job, receiving communication 
about an opportunity. This could even, you know, like love partnership. That could also insinuate like even the eight of pentacles is what I'm seeing. Uh, something you love to do. You could be getting that dream job. You could be getting um, that offer that you've been waiting for, anticipating. I feel like whatever transformation you've experienced, whatever healing you've been doing, it's like you have learned your worth. You've learned your value. Uh, so you're no longer settling. As I said, I don't feel like there's any settling anymore with you. Like you're not putting, you know, putting your needs, wants and desires to the back burner, so to speak. So let's see what we have coming and going out going on. We're going to use my who do, who do card. So we have on the split, the seven of knives. So that's the seven of swords. That could be what you are walking away from dealing with backstabbers, dealing with gossip, you know, whoever gossips to you, gossips about you. Um, so that's why it's always, you know, it's good to stand clear of, you know, the clicks and, and being around people that love to talk about other folks. Because if they love talking about other folks when you're not there, what you think they're doing, about, you know, what you, what you think they're doing to you. They, they're dragging your name in the mud. They're, they're gossiping. they bumping their lips about you. So whenever someone is, girl, let me tell you. Trust and believe after they tell you whatever, then whatever little bit of tidbits you share about your life, they go in and telling somebody else that. So you got to be mindful. Um, we have the eight of sticks and we have big mama. Big mama is very representative of that empress energy. This is the Umi. This is the mother. This is like that mama Yemen ya energy. I do feel like you are protected. She's wearing a key. So I feel like this is just saying you have... Um, the keys to success. This is the bread. Remember the cornbread? I was saying you're going to get your cheddar cheese biscuits and dough. Well, the spirit is bringing you some sort of big, um, a blessing. Like this is like financial, um, rewards, opportunities. This is job offers, pay increases, promotions. This is definitely, you know, you receiving money, moolah. Um, and you're going to be very ecstatic. You're going to be very elated um i absolutely i think this is actually the the sun card I have not used these cards in a while i believe this is the sun yeah this is the sun card so there's good news and remember we did see that happy ending and we also have eight of sticks so that's telling me that this is definitely a wish fulfillment this is something rushing in and it's bringing a lot of happiness a lot of joy and it is in regards to your money because I see that cornbread as bread. That's another term we use in Ebonics. <laughs> For those of you that do not have your uh, Ebonics <laughs> knowledge, um, cheddar, cheese, biscuits, dough, moolah, that is all terms for money. <laughs> so with that cornbread right there, you know, some of y'all could cook your asses off too. Maybe that's what you're in business. You know, maybe some of y'all are opening up a restaurant or you're going to be caterers or you're trying to get a food truck business going. Um, and your, your, you know, your, um, specialty is, you know, soul food, you know, whatever it is, even if you're doing music, it's soul, soul music, you know, anything you do from the heart, anything that sparks the mind of people or gives people, you know, that love, like that old music, you know, the old music are, you know, mothers and fathers grew up on, our grandparents grew up on that soul music because no matter where you are, how you're feeling, you turn on that music, Earth, Wind and Fire, you turn on some Stevie Wonder, you turn on any of the greats, Billie Holiday, any of that, you know, John Coltrane, Miles Davis, any of that soul music, I guarantee you, you'll feel this this, these butterflies, you just feel this feeling of love. It's just, they know how healing it is. So there goes this uh, queen. What is that? The queen of pentacles. Look at this. Unbothered. You are unbothered, beloved. Things are absolutely looking good in the money department for you all. Um, even if you're masking, it's like your, your hard work is paying off. You was very, very patient. You worked very, very hard. And now you are living the life. I'm definitely feeling that you're very excited. We have Stevie Wonder. Just as I was speaking to Stevie Wonder, here he is. Golden Lady. So with Golden Lady, that definitely gives the, the, the sense because gold is the color of regal and royalty. So just as purple is. So I'm definitely 
feeling like you are very attractive. Um, you're attractive not only, you know, physically, but you're attractive in terms of maybe what you have um, to offer, you know, employers, what you have to offer in business. You know, you got people keeping their eye on you. What did I say about you have someone watching you? This could be someone you will be working with. This could be someone that could be a fellow water sign. This could be someone that has water in their chart. But there's uh, definitely some admiration. You don't even know this person's watching because you got your eyes covered, you're laying back, relaxing. But someone is definitely seeing you as someone very stable, self-sufficient, independent. You're also single, you know, and this is by choice because you choose, You obviously can have any man that you want, even if it's, just, you know, you're in um, same-sex marriages, same, you know, any woman you want. It's like, you know, you can pull whatever, you know. Um, but there is absolutely this energy of like, you know, you recovering from disappointment betrayals we got the three of knives so this is what you have you know um evolved to you know and you've turned pain into power literally figuratively you know you was left out in the cold you had people that was definitely um praying on your downfall just kind of really trying to be you know sticks in your wheel and uh, you've overcome all of that we see the uh, daughter of baskets so this shows the healing this is you implementing the healing, working on the self, learning to love that self, realizing love is an inside job and not to look externally. You know, the people that you were trusting, as I said, look at this. You got a dog pissing on the grave and you got three swords straight to the heart. You know what I'm saying? So this is like, this is intentional. Um, you didn't have backstabbers. You had front stabbers. You had people that wanted you to hurt, wanted you to see them, you know, so they could have been very, um, you know, catty, very hateful. Um, and there goes Father Sims, bringing it all back to balance, you know, restoring the balance in your life, helping you. You know, this was all divine timing also. It was all necessary. As I said, anything that we grow through is necessary for our journeys. And he's wearing purple. Um, so this is that same energy of, you know, finding that balance, uh, putting things back into perspective um, and just pouring into oneself, healing oneself. Because he's pouring this water into uh, a vessel, but he's pouring from two vessels. So I do feel that has a lot to do with even, you know, aligning you, as I said, with, with your person, purpose, um, passion, you know, the three P's, beloved, the three P's, purpin, person, purpose, pas passion. So that's beautiful. So we have this golden lady and um, with inner visions, someone absolutely could be kind of daydreaming, thinking you know, of you. Um, and we have August 3rd, 1973. I don't know if someone is dealing with a fire sign who was born on the 3rd of August. Is that fire? That's a fire sign. Yes, it is. August 3rd. So clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So we have on the bottom of the deck, who is that? We have, what did I say about gossiping? Look at this. You got all these gossiping ass folk, daughter of knives. Look at this. This is that energy. You see this? All these people pointing fingers, you know, um, with this daughter of knives, I do feel like, you know, also this could be someone who's kind of uh, a little apprehensive. I feel there's apprehension here. Um, but I also get a sense of like, maybe you felt like people were trying to hold you back because these are all hands, you know, these hands could be trying to hold on to you, trying to, you know, to hold you back. It's almost like giving me the, 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 the vision I'm seeing in my mind's eye, like the crabs in the barrel. Technically crabs don't belong in the barrel, but the moment one tries to get out, the other crabs pull and tug on the crab trying to get out. So it's a very similar energy. Like, so maybe you have been um, really, you know, working very hard. Um, you've been, you know, really growing in your career. And then you started to find that people just were doing little um, petty things to try to hold you back. Maybe you started to notice things within your own manager, your own supervisor. Um, you know, maybe you started to notice things with your colleagues, like little things, and you felt like they were trying to hold you back or block your blessing. This is the overall energy. And I feel like whatever you were doing, it's like it, it absolutely was something that I feel um, you were meant to be in that space and time. 
because it taught you uh, to, it, it almost toughened you is what I'm getting. It's like it, it, it toughened you, it hardened you a little bit because you needed to be, you know, especially in whatever field you're working in, like you needed to, to get some tough skin or um, you needed to learn to assert yourself, express yourself, speak your truth. Uh, but you see, she is literally like just standing strong, but these arms are annoying me because it feels like they're trying to hold, even this one is like pulling and tugging. So I don't know if you had a lot of people, um, you know, that were kind of like trying to hold you back in your career, trying to keep you from them promotions Four, 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 four. your angels are watching out for you. It's like your angels will step in when they see things are unjust, when they see that things are unfair, um, because it's all about balance and fairness. And if you are doing your due diligence and working um, your tail off to learn, to grow, to elevate, and then you got this type of energy where you're being, you know, it's resisting, you know, it's being, you're being met with resistance. Then I feel this is the reason why spirit is stepping in because we did see that 444 and that 444 reduces to 16. Um, so I'm getting a sense of like that seven, like, you know, these, these are the, the, the gossipers that I was picking up on. These are the deceivers. These are the people that will try to dupe you, mind up you, um, people that just like to just cause drama. These are people who are miserable. And so they try to make your life miserable. They see joy and happiness and peace on you. You just radiant and, exu you know, and so they, they try to, to, to kind of like, um, steal your joy, you know, and, and you have to stand firm. You have to stand firm, but more importantly, you have to express yourself. Never let anybody feel familiar with you. I've learned that a long time ago. Like the moment someone feels, you know, comfortable enough or familiar enough to like make you the butt of their jokes and the shit is not funny, part of my language. Um, they're going to do that all the time. And then what they'll do is it'll gradually get worse because they'll wait for audiences to be there to try to test you. And people like that, those, you don't ever want to, to give those people that, that notion that they can play with you, uh, because they will never stop even when you're being serious. And then they'll try to, um, reverse psychology if it is someone you work with and they'll make it seem like you're being aggressive towards them they'll reverse psychology and because they've been there a gazillion years which means that they have built some rapport on coming back and bringing all the so-called tea to you know the higher ups their position is safe they have a safe you know um position so anybody that challenges them, they'll do little petty things. So you got to be mindful of that. Some of y'all could be dealing with that right now. So what we have on the bottom of the deck is the three of swords. So there is whatever you're attracting to you. This is an ending. It was painful. You know, some of y'all could be hurting, but I do feel like, you know, whatever this is, someone was, um, I feel lack of loyalty because whenever you see dogs, they represent loyalty. But if he's pissing on your grave, that is someone that is not loyal. So this is a lack of loyalty. And that's why you leave it. Because this, this, like I said, the 10, the harmony is at a 10, which means that it's imbalanced. You know, I don't feel that there's balance here. You know, I was picking up, you know, uh, abundance and prosperity uh, before. But now that the cards are coming out, it's feeling more heavy. We have the prodigy out of space. Um, so you definitely can be seen as a prodigy. You could be seen as someone very wise, very skilled could perhaps you know manifesting something new a new opportunity because that one does deal with the magician so you could be setting your intentions you know perhaps this death is uh why you're transforming you are the conduit of change you know how to transmute this type of energy you know pain hurt and turn it into power and healing uh which is why we saw healing in your hidden enemy um excuse me so you have a hidden enemy at your job you have a hidden enemy around you as well so be mindful maybe that's who uh stabbed you as we already um you know discovered so let's tap in let's see why is this uh domestic harmony here for who or what our beloved scorpios are attracting to them we get a message of peace power and protection we have father sims bringing balance Restoring the balance, reminding you of divine timing. So we have the ancestors. This is a death. What did I say? Walking away from something that no longer serves you. I feel like your angels, your ancestors, your uh, spirit team, spirit guides, your spiritual pa uh, parents uh, have assisted you um, in leaving something that's no longer serving your highest good. Uh, asserting yourself, 
you know, finally making a decision to walk away uh, from those toxic relationships, those toxic work um, environments to, you know, kind of spread your wings and fly with the prodigy. I feel like you definitely have special gifts and it's almost as if you're settling here. Um, and even if you're not settling, is this stagnation um, because I feel whoever you're working for, working with, working around, um, it's like they're blocking and delaying opportunities that are guaranteed and meant for you. Um, but spirit is saying good things take time to create. Uh, spirit wants you to learn. This is, you know, you learning because what you're attracting is a transformation, is a change, um, is an ending, is a death. Uh, there could be some ancestor, uh, you know, some sort of um, anniversary date. Maybe you're going and visiting the, um, you know, the uh, the burial site of a beloved ancestor. Uh, and they're the ones giving you the encouragement or the motivation to leave something, to start something new, you know, to create a whole new path for yourself uh, and to be fearless, you know, because the magician knows that he creates his own, you know, reality. You're the master of your own universe. So you have the ability to, you know, use your own mind to manifest, to create, to set your intention, to, you know, create the uh reality that you desire and with out of space I do feel like you know for ha perhaps there is um something that is not you're, you're, you're not it's not in your reach you know it's it's not in this space and time hence you know this this father sims which is pretty much the temperance so speaking to divine timing divine order you know that's why it's out of space. It's not in this particular space and time. And trust your intuition. Use discernment. Because it's almost like spirit is saying you'll know when it when it's in your orbit. You know, you'll know. So we have right now, um, who is this? This is Alexis TV. This is called About Him. Alex Isley, I said Alexis TV, Alexis Isley or Alex Isley. And this is called about him. And we're about to clarify the energy. So there is a him. Remember we had, um, who was that earlier? Jones and my bones playing earlier, but there was another song panties, most deaf. And I was picking up, but about him four breaks down to, I mean, four is a really, um, dealing with the emperor so how someone feels about you is they feel that you're highly intuitive they feel you're wise they feel you're psychic they feel like you are clear audience they feel like you're attuned they feel like you are also balanced you know patient maybe they're unsure as to how you feel about them they're they're sure I feel about how they feel about you because this is four and that four deals with the heart chakra it also deals with like I said stability you know sturdiness strength even this this is also dual numbers so perhaps this is someone that could be communicating you communicating with you telepathically or intuitively this is interesting. So why is this 22 intuition? Because about him, I feel like about this person is they may love you. They like, And maybe intuitively you'll know because you'll pick up on it. We have the seven of coins here. So I do see that you have been working. You've been working. You've been getting yourself back to um, a space where you feel self-sufficient or you feel like you can, um, you know, breathe again. I'm hearing a sigh of relief. I do see you looking back in awareness or looking back. I do get a sense of like feeling also a little unfulfilled, a little, you know, unsatisfied with what you have, but you're getting some sort of support from your ancestors. Like they could be giving you signs, synchronicities, but I see you planting your seeds very intentionally and in good faith and it is reaping a harvest you've been able to acquire seven pentacles after going through 
you know, that um, Three of Swords energy, which is very admirable. I was picking up someone feeling liberated and feeling empowered again. And independence is the foundation for your stability and your security and your overall happiness. So I do feel like the more stable things become, the more confident you feel, the more happy you feel. All right, Cateris, good day to you, my lovely. You can't sit here because you're going to be sitting on my cards. My little friend, do how you doing? Good. Thank you for visiting the people. You want to say hi? Look, say, say good day. Say good day. Good day, people. <laughs> all right. She wants to make her entrance. I got to You're going to knock up. You're going to knock down all of my cards, friend, dude. Go ahead. You got to go down there for right now, okay? I love you, though. So look what we have. Oh, wow. Eight of Pentacles. I can't make this up. So there is progress. What's hidden is there is progress. Because you've gone through some sort of death and you've learned and you've mastered your craft and you've gone through that school of thought where you needed to grow and evolve. And now there's this like, now there's this focused intention, focused attention. She's grabbing my arm. Do you see her? Yes, honey. Look at her. How can I help you? She's grabbing me. You want attention? You want the attention? You're talking to these people. Talk to me. Hi, friend, do Oh, that baby, baby. She's spoiled, as you can see. Very spoiled. So this Eight of Pentacles is definitely showing like you are in go mode. Very, very focused. Oh, look at the card. So this is what people are hating on, your progress. They're hating on your progress. Wasn't I talking to y'all about gossipy people? You got a lot of people whispering and gossiping about you. Look at all these people. I heard, I heard. And then you're sitting here like you got your body, um, you got your body, cut, like your heart covered. So you don't love them hoes. You, you're not even thinking about them folks. You got your back to them, which is obviously, you know, a, a, a position. You're knocking things down, honey. You got to sit here in this chair right next to me. How about that? Is that good enough for you? You can sit right there, right next to me. You can sit right on there, okay? Little baby. Pardon me. They're trying to distract. <laughs> Whatever, whomever it is, they're definitely trying to distract you with the gossip. Don't let it distract you. Stay focused on whatever you're working on. Because this is what, you know, they're trying to do is get you to turn around and respond, get you to turn around and, and um, be all, you know, hot. And, and, and it's just, it's petty energy at this point. It's very pe petty. Protect your heart, protect your energy. You know, I feel like that's what you're doing anyway. Like you're not allowing people to, um, you know, to uh, play with you anymore. Perhaps that's something you've learned, as I said, healing from past pains, wounds, you know, traumas, even like failed relationships, circumstances. It's, it's definitely um, giving you a different perspective or it's made you look at people differently, look at your relationships differently or how you start to cultivate and nurture relationships differently. I feel like you got all of your attention focused on your goals, on your money, on your coins, and you're, you're making progress here. As I said, you had the seven um, coins. Someone also, you know, like I said, that you working with, um, may want to partner up with you. Why is the 66 healing and 16 rebirth there? Wow. This is why you're healing. As we said, son of baskets is here, which is saying that there's definitely some sort of offer. So this three of swords is why you're healing. Maybe you've already dealt with the gossip, dealt with the haters, dealt with the negativity. And this is what you're getting. What did I say? You are the conduit of change. So this healing you know, this pain, you've turned it into power. The ace of baskets is the ace of cups. So this is you learning to love yourself. That's why temperance kept showing. Um, Father Sims was the temperance card. And what he represents is balance, is restoring the balance, teaching you the importance of loving yourself because love has to be on the inside of you first. You got to love yourself. That's an inside job. So after going through the breakups, going through the disappointments, going through the gossip, going through all of that negativity, she's just looking at me. Hi, friend. After going through all of that, it's like you've learned, okay, I got to I got to heal. I got to recover. I have to um, go grow through this because this is a death 
And that's why you have the transformation here as well. So this was all necessary. This is what's hidden. You know, it's all necessary. It's like a necessary um, lesson for you to, you know, embark upon what you are meant to do. You know, how would you be able to help others heal if you don't first, you know, do the healing on yourself? Every great healer has to first heal themselves. Otherwise, you you know, you're being met with frauds. People sitting here trying to... I watched this... um this show on Netflix yesterday and it was talking about twin flames and there was some couple this young couple who were supposedly twin flame gurus and they started these groups and had all these people that were following them blindly not using discernment or intuition just submitting their will and these people just gaffled them out of money had some folks changing genders just to fit into whatever uh, whatever um, philosophy they were, were just making up. It was crazy. You got to watch it. Very interesting. Um, but I was just more flabbergasted that they were like successful in doing this. But this is why I say like you cannot idolize other people. You can't pr like look for people to give you the answers. It's like it's okay to get confirmation after you got to know who you are first. You know, you can't seek on the World Wide Web answers that are like deeply rooted. That's internal work you have to do. So that's one of the reasons I always tell y'all never submit your will, not even to me, not to nobody. Never submit that. That is your power. And so it was just very flabbergasting. But I digress. Um, so we have this um, page or the son of baskets, which is the page of baskets. So there is a message of love. There is someone coming in you know, communicating. Um, this could be, as I said, someone confessing, someone at your job. I do feel like this is somebody you work with that you will not only work with, but I feel like it could, you know, elevate or graduate to something um, more, you know. Maybe this is someone, um, as I said, that you'll bump into for business. I can't make this up. <laughs> Four of coins. So this is you manifested, you manifested this because this is like scrying, you know, the four of coins. What he's doing is this is called scrying and he has these feathers. So this definitely feels like this is uh, someone your angels are aligning you with. And that father Sims definitely would give me that sense as well because he was bringing balance into your life as well as someone else because there were two chalices that he was pouring into that basket. But the two of baskets, this is the two of cups. And remember, I was saying that you had someone that is just like drawn to you a mask and look how he's cheesing and she's very happy this is a beautiful energy here so you are meeting someone perhaps some of y'all at your place of employment or doing something that you absolutely love this could be you know like i said pursuing your dreams this is someone that shares the same dreams but the two of baskets mean these are two people you see how their baskets are full they don't have no empty baskets they're not sitting there with empty baskets expecting the other person to fill up their half a day basket and their whole basket. Like that, that's not a balanced connection. This is equal give and take. You have something to offer them and vice versa. So that shows the work that you all have done. That shows, you know, the intention of being healed, of being healthy. That also shows, you know, that I feel, you know, maybe you have someone communicating with you uh, telepathically or intuitively. But this also can speak to just, you know, like I said, job opportunities, partnerships, and you're going to be elated. You're going to be very satisfied. We got Tosh Sultana synergy playing. So there is going to be some synergy. This is like a like mind, A alike, B alike. This is definitely uh, someone that you will feel this chemistry, feel this sense of familiarity. This is someone that's been holding on to you, manifesting you. There goes the Ace of Cup coins. You know, look at that. This is the Ace of Coin. This is sweet potato pie. Better eat that pie while it's hot. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So y'all have manifested some new opportunity. I feel like you've tapped into your Christ consciousness and, you know, tapped into that ability to manifest, to scry, to call in, set your intentions, to, you know, to call what you desire. You know what I'm saying? And, and here it is, this ace of coins. This is that offer. Like I said, a dream job. Some of y'all could be moving. You're going to have some choices, some opportunities. This is a very beautiful energy. But I feel like there is, you're parting ways with one position. 
You're parting ways with an opportunity to go towards your dreams. It's like this could have been a difficult decision because maybe the money was good. or Maybe you, you know, maybe you have some apprehension and moving, relocating. But I feel like you're doing exactly what spirit is aligning you to do you know, encouraging you to do even more importantly, because spirit is the one giving you this slice of pie. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is a big, that would put a smile on anybody's face. You know what I'm talking about? Sweet potato pie, some good sweet potato pie. And it's like, you have manifested this. This is a crystal ball. So this is what they see in your future. Like spirit is the one, like definitely saying that you have new opportunities, um, that you have manifested because you've tapped into your divinity as a divine feminine, divine masculine to manifest these opportunities. I want to get a couple of messages from, you know, my deck that I created. So let's see. And then we're going to wrap it up. So we have, I want to hear your voice again. I miss you. This could be someone you haven't even spoken to, someone you used to uh, work with. This could be a former colleague. And we have Lord Haran, and this is the night we met. So someone still thinks about the night you all met. They still ponder on that. Like they still think of, you know, that that um, first engagement, if you will, with you. And we have hone your gifts. So I feel that's what you're doing. Absolutely is just like mastering your craft. Because that's what this five energy, this is what we were. We were about to uh, clarify the 32. That's the Hierophant. Very wise energy. Very, um, you know, that's an energy of like even... You know, going through training processes, learning, investigating, researching. It's definitely an energy where, you know, you have to make make it your business to ig the ignorant. Because this looks like very ignorant energy. We did see where people were gossiping. Spirit wants you to focus on this and not on that nonsense. Because you are very psychic, very in tune. You've grown. You learn to trust your intuition. What have I been saying throughout the whole reading? Power. This says power over pain. And that's what you've done. You've turned your pain into power and the seven definitely shows some of y'all could be a life path number seven some of y'all could have been born on the um october 25th or uh 11 7 maybe someone you were dealing with was born in the month of july or could be um you know someone that has cancer so we have no bad energy so i absolutely feel like that's what you started to pick up on is that you know you had some stagnancy there and you know when you are like all love and light and you're an empath you could pick up on all of this funky stank ass energy you could pick up on the hate you could pick up on people smiling and beguiling you know what i'm talking about like you could pick up on the eyes being shifty the energy being off it's like so you you've learned to pay attention to those things and i feel that's the reason why you're making a decision to leave to move away because this is the 32 next card is one so that's why I remember I was saying I was seeing the six of swords where you could be moving on moving on to bigger and better moving on to a just a more peaceful environment more loving environment but it's like you can't do the negative energy not anymore and we have Kendrick Lamar Mr. Morale so it's like you're listening and trusting that moral compass these people are immoral and when you are an empath and when you do things righteously it's like you can't be around that negative energy because it starts to weigh you down. And that's literally what they're trying to do here. It's like this negative energy is trying to pull you down, trying to stagnate you, block you. And you're just like, I can't do this no more. So that five is really giving me a sense of like, you know, especially with the music that it's telling me, listen to this song that's playing, Mr. Morale. Um, it's just showing that you're trusting your own gumption and and you're going according to what feels good in your spirit now you're no longer allowing people smug negative combative argumentative hostile energy um make you feel like stuck because she looks stuck almost even this blank look on her face it's like you don't want to be stuck you know you don't want to be stuck and stagnant so the next card we have is ready to love open to the new so I feel like this is you finally opening up your heart because what you are attracting to you remind you 
um, we had that domestic harmony and then we have ancestors. So there definitely was some sort of demise of a relationship, partnership, marriage. Uh, maybe you were engaged, maybe you were living with another person, but this is like, you know, the ending. And then this is like that new beginning because now you're open to love and you're open to love because you've been learning. You've, you're open to love because you have relocated and you've created a sacred space. You've been very protective. You've been very mindful to work on yourself and you're more you know, um, more cognizant to trust your own intuition and to use discernment. Uh, but I feel there's something new that is coming in. This could even be, like I said, you know, uh, bumping into someone that you may meet at a place of employment. Uh, this says mantras, affirmations, gratitude, prayers, Reiki healing. So you all are absolutely people who know that, you know, in order to attract what you want, you have to be in a vibration to receive. So you have to get into that space of meditating, you know, connecting with source, grounding your energy, um, speaking those mantras, those daily mantras and affirmations. This is some of the tools uh, I feel some of you all utilize to heal, especially with three swords to the, to the chest. I definitely feel like a lot of you all just had to say those gratitude prayers and remind yourselves that there are so many more reasons to be thankful, to be grateful, um, especially your life <laughs> being one of them. It's like, you know, whatever or whomever you're, you're, you're removing or that has been removed from your life is not the end all be all of you. And that's what I feel this helped you with, you know, this really, um, pushed you forward. And I feel your ancestors perhaps were, you know, assisting you and supporting you, um, in this whole transformative process. Like this is really them encouraging you, giving you little, you know, signs and synchronicities, which really empowered you, which really, um, motivated you to keep going and to keep growing, um, until you ultimately realize that you're the alchemist and you can manifest exactly what you desire, because that's what this is also, you know, just showing that, you know, you know, that your words, uh, what you speak into the ethers universe, um, it grows wings, you know, and it can manifest your words are powerful. And so you realize that and you may also have discovered that you have some sort of healing abilities um, and uh, started to master that as well. So this six is like also just trusting your intuition, like spirit was leading the way you could have been learning from elders, pastors, master teachers, uh, perhaps, you know, the matriarchs, patriarchs of your family. Um, and the more you were, you know, in session in class the more you realized that you were being held back and you were not allowing that anymore. What we have playing right now is SOS band. Tell me if you still care. So whoever, whatever you're attracting to, you may, you may know this person. Like I said, you may have met someone from your job. Um, with the seven of pentacles, I do feel like there's a sense of like, as I said, like you were very discontent or you felt like you was the only one putting in the work. Cause I only see one person here. Um, putting in the work, I definitely get a sense of like, you was dealing with someone who was greedy, you know, somebody who just probably came in, took what they want, disappeared. Cause I see a pig here, you know, and pigs can be very greedy. They could represent greed. Um, but with this intuition, I also feel like you can sense something is coming in. Someone also feels you're highly intuitive, but they also feel that you are very focused on, you know, mastering your craft or you know, doing something that you love to do. So maybe this is what you've lost yourself in. This is how you were able to, um, you know, kind of navigate out of toxic, um, volatile circumstances by just, you know, kind of like mastering whatever it is that you do. So why is this 22 intuition and seven of coins here? I do feel there's an opportunity. I do feel like, um, your skill set. I feel like your experience, I feel like whatever you've been doing, it has, um, it's elevated you in some way. And there goes that number seven again. So some of y'all, you may hear from someone in, in, in seven minutes, seven days, seven months, maybe something, um, will happen next month on the seventh. Um, maybe this month on the 25th, or maybe on the 16th, you will hear from someone or something. Seven is also telling you, trust your intuition. Seven is also saying that you've grown personally, 
spiritually you're you're connected so always like pay attention to your dreams always pay attention to the synchronicities that happen around you you know nothing happens uh coincidentally nothing is accidental it's all divine time so pay attention um this is also the seven of coins so um, i'm getting a sense of like you getting your just due also because the seven and this four reduces to 11 that's justice so i feel like things are going to be handled fairly and justly for you for whatever you've been doing and we have stuck and stagnant i can't make this ish up something was keeping you stuck it says stuck and stagnant move for better results and that's exactly what i said some of y'all have to move away from a former job or from people you know it could just be people that love to just bump their gums you know people that aren't doing anything are always going to critique and criticize those that are um you know and make it seem like there has to be this comp competitive energy it's like no just do what you do and let me do what i do because i'm not worried about you you know what i'm saying but this is the stuck and stagnant energy i kept picking up and it's because of this it's like people trying to hold somebody back this could be a boss this could have been a relationship this could be family this is situations and someone's talking about tell me if you still care pardon me i hit the mic um tell me if you still care so sos band you know the sos that's like um from when i researched it before it was like that's how they would go and seek out um dang what was it it's like you go and find missing i don't know don't get me to lying but um this sos is just telling me this is definitely stuck and stagnant s and s <laughs> stuck and stagnant this is how someone feels about you you know and and maybe they realize that you know they've been trying to hold you back because you're looking back in awareness and now they see you as trusting your intuition because you're not like you're not allowing um the trickery anymore it's like you have awakened to something. You see something. And whatever they was doing uh, to block or whatever they was doing to hinder you or to delay something, it's like spirit sees as well. And you're going to get your just due. You're going to get what's meant for you. With the seven here, I'm absolutely feeling like it's rushing in. That's the chariot. And this is going to bring balance. This is going to restore the balance. This is also potentially... Um, you know, someone that feels, you know, maybe that you've been all work, no play, you know, and they kind of want to rush in, assert themselves and kind of try to like bring some excitement, bring some adventure, you know, some movement. So I can't make this up. So we have first eye here. And then we also have black tourmaline, Florida water, Palo Santo, sage, singing bowls, candle. This is a protection card. So you are divinely protected because remember we saw 333, we saw 4444. Four, four, four. So I know that your angels are with you. That's no, um, you know, that's no surprise. Uh, we have, I'm falling off my game, messed around and fell in love with you, damn. So perhaps this is someone that, like I said, that you know from the past. That could have been a playboy, playgirl, or somebody that was kind of running in the wrong circles and got caught up. And then now they looking back like, oh snap, I actually enjoyed um, being in that person's presence. So I enjoyed the energy that they gave off. Cause remember we saw a happy ending. So I know something is going to end very well. And we already see that you're, you're, you're going to be satisfied. Whatever's happening, whoever's coming in, I definitely feel like there's going to be some joy and some satisfaction. As I was saying earlier, other side of the game, Erica Badu, someone was playing a lot of games, you know, definitely running with the wrong circles. Um, you've been healing. <laughs> you've been doing your due diligence to heal and this healing has triggered the rebirth and the growth and just the maturity overall of you um but this is also you know triggered a change you know you you've had to heal from this and you've had to be um accountable you've had to be responsible and had to take onus um for whatever has occurred you're not a victim you were around some very disloyal people people that you uh, may have overcompensated for but you also uh, made it your business to heal from that made it your business to learn from that um, and the healing and the learning that you've done is because you realize that you always needed to use your first eye to see you always needed to use that spiritual eye to look deeper into situations and circumstances. Some of y'all had to learn 
the hard way. Maybe you were aligned with the gossipers. Maybe you were backstabbed by those very people. Maybe you had to learn, you know, by sharing too much information about yourself and it was used against you. Um, with this black tourmaline, I feel like you were and you are protected um, by your angels and your guides. Like, I feel like they were protecting you. What I see here is someone's falling in love. And remember, we have love partnership. Someone could be confessing this, admitting this. This could be someone that you did work with in your past. Um, or this could be someone that you will meet at your place of employment. Whether you work someplace now or you will be moving to a new job, I definitely get a sense. With other side of the game, I'm feeling like um, with Erica Badu, somebody could be from Texas. Someone could definitely be from Texas or Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. So we have this um, says uh, talking because they have lips, gossiping as fools. So someone is definitely running their mouth about y'all. Y'all got some folks gossiping and they it's because they have no nothing better to do. I was saying gossip and everything I said came out because I was feeling chatty patties. I was just feeling that energy of a chatty patty, like just bumping and bump, just always got something to say. And then we have fear less. So spirit is saying be fearless. Um, you know, fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real and facing everything and rising. So rise to the occasion, rise above the drama, the nonsense, stay in, you know, on your throne. You know, don't stoop down and deal with the minions. Don't stoop down, deal with the little, you know, the little imbeciles, um, the peasants, you know, spirit will handle all of that. Uh, what we have also is it says you have people who are in secret competition with you. Keep your business to yourself. I can't make this ish up. And you all are empaths. Everything I've said, I'm seeing empath. I feel deeply. And then you got folks that are in secret competitions and it's because you growing. It's because you're maturing. As I said, when folks aren't doing anything, they feel automatically like they got to be in a competition with folks who they clearly see is living in their purpose, living in their truth, who are happy, who, you know, you could be anything opposite of another person and, and they will take offense to it because it's really just um, a mirror of the work they are not doing or the things um, that they may have some, some envy, um, over, like you may just seem like somebody who has it all together and they're just rattled. And it's just like, you know, little do they know what's going on behind the scenes. It's just, you are someone who walks in faith and you stand in that power. Things could be unraveling in your life, but you never show that to the world because you're strong. You know, you don't show people your weaknesses. That's not wise. So it's just like, whoever these individuals are, they haven't a clue of what you've been through. They haven't a clue. You just appear to have it all together and they're taking offense to it. It's also, um, just kind of highlighting just how little work they're doing and how immature and ignorant, you know, they are, because when you got to resort to doing this, this is so childish, so school boy, school girl. Now men are even gossiping like little girls. So it's not even a feminine trait anymore. This used to be just something women used to sit up and do gossiping. But now you could just, you know, click on any podcast and you got men sitting around talking about other men. You know, it's just, it's ridiculous. So it's just like, don't get in those circles. I do feel like some of y'all, you know, may have some folks gossiping, um, regarding a new relationship that you could be coming into a new union, a new job, um, this new opportunity that you're leaving, um, whatever that is you're leaving and whatever this is new that you're coming into. A lot of people going to be talking like, did you hear such and such left? Ooh, they left. And, oh, and then that's where the gossip starts. That's where the negativity and the jealousy, they might even start hitting up your phone when they find out that you leave block their asses. They have nothing to say. Um, all they're going to do is bring the drama to your phone line. It's like, if you leave something, leave it, just leave it. I don't believe unless the relationships and connections are really like strong and, and real and authentic. And you feel like, wow, this is like a soul sister, a soul brother, everybody else. Like, I, I, I'm sorry, deuce. I, I can't, I'm not holding like, that's a tie to me. And if it's not that meaningful or impactful, there's no reason for me to hold on to that tie. I keep it pushing. I don't, I don't look back. I don't want to hear about what's going on with the job. Like you haven't heard, like, like, it's like you'll leave someplace and then people will j like literally call your phone to tell you what's going on at the place that you left. I don't want to hear that. When I left my job, you know, um, back in May, 
um, people was hitting up my phone. Now, I hadn't heard from these folks <laughs> when, they, when I was working at the job. Barely got a call. But the moment I leave, everybody calling me every other day, sending me messages. Did you hear this? Did you? I'm like, no, and I don't want to. So it was just like, I got that mess out of here. That's chatty patty stuff. And I'm not on that type of time. I don't want to sit around talking about other people that I don't have no connection to. Like, it's not my business. Like, do what you do, beloved. Um, but don't bring that over here. <laughs> so if somebody's trying to bring gossip to you, remember what I said. Whoever gossips to you, gossips about you. So if you get caught up in the rapture where you're just sitting on the phone like, yeah, don't be surprised if somebody gets your name entangled and stuff because that's how those, those entanglements happen um, when you sit around listening. You ain't got no business listening to the nonsense. Remove yourself. They start talking, go and find something to do. Go put your headphones in, walk away. Like don't sit and listen to the nonsense because I feel that that's a way that um, someone is trying to malign you or trying to get you caught up. But I also feel like people just gossiping because things are working out in your favor. You're, you're improving. I see blessings. I see that you're definitely protected. And I feel like you also have been protecting yourself because you've been listening and trusting your intuition. Whoever's been trying to keep you stuck and stagnant, you see them because she's looking directly at, you know, what was going on in the past. It's like, she's looking back the way the cards are uh, positioned on the table, she's looking back as if she's looking back in awareness. And you can see clearly that she's been rebuilding, you know, her foundation after the three of swords. That's like a death. And that's what she's looking at. She's looking back at this death that she's experienced. Remember, this is the energy of what you're attracting to you, who or what. So there is a uh, some sort of death, but there's also, you know, this, this um, emergence of, you know, a new you, new and improved, ready, opened, um, and, um, receptive, you know, and it's because you've asserted yourself, you've taken your power back. I feel whatever offers are coming in are definitely going to be, um, opportunities. I don't know why I feel like getting more messages, You're getting something destined. It feels like whatever's meant for you, destined for you. This is a part of um karma dharma it's going to bring balance and i also feel like that's why uh you've had to you know if you felt like you were waiting so long um but i also feel like this is what spirit is restoring in your life and you can see there's stars there so i also feel like these are wish fulfillments that are waiting to come in but spirit is taking the time to balance things out perhaps within you within a situation and we have john legend and this is called so high you're going to feel high you're going to feel liberated. You're going to feel happy, overjoyed. There goes that transformation card, you know, and this is what you're attracting to you. So remember the ancestors, the same as the transformation, that's death. So you're definitely transforming, growing. You've grown your wings. You can see that she has these wings. And I was, I was really feeling that energy of like just growing your wings and taking off, taking flight. You know, you've been through a starter and metamorphosis. Now you're following what you're passionate, what you, you what you feel most passionate about. It's no longer peas and the please or trying to go along to get along. This is the new beginning. You're, you're following your heart in a matter. You're following your heart and you're walking away from the things that no longer serve. And you're starting literally, um, you know, from ground zero, which is, you know, that's the first point. And this is going to bring stability. Stability. This is like, you know, establishing a new foundation. That's also security. You're going to come into a new partnership. We saw that. You're going to have people gossiping about you and this new love that you may have met at your place of employment. Or maybe you will meet uh, someone that you used to work with. Uh, and it, you know, the two of you will re rekindle something. Because remember, we had tell me if you still care um, playing by SOS band. Now we have so high. Someone could be dealing with someone named John. I'm also feeling like, you know, this is, you know, with so high, it's just, you're going to feel very um, elated and overjoyed. You have obstacles and challenges. So this is what your angels were showing you, that people were trying to malign you and set you up. You see how the these uh, lightning bugs are lighting the path to show you how you were being set up. You know, these are people that were sitting around waiting for your downfall, you know, waiting for you to fail, to fall uh, waiting for you to, you know, have some sort of dis, um, discomfort or dis, 
what, what was dis-ease, like dis, they didn't want you to be happy. This five and this five, this is definitely showing that this was uh, a setup. You know, I'm getting the five of swords where people are very smug, brash, hateful, vengeful, competitive. We just saw you have people seething at your ascension. So you're obviously growing, maturing, reaching new levels. And this is what they're doing, trying to malign you, trying to set you up, trying to, you know, uh, trying to make you fall to your death. And here goes your angels protecting you, showing you, guiding the light so that you see like you could have literally took another step and fell. And if you look on this plank here, there's a bird. Um, birds represent, you know, the angels, you know, the angels coming through, uh, showing up for you, protecting you. We did see the 333, the 444. Um, but this is what you realize. Like I can't be around this. This is hatred. When you're trying to make somebody fall to their death, that's hate. That's not even, oh, I don't like you. That's not bad energy. That's like, yo, I can't stand. I want, I want to see the, this person get off. Like that's hate. That's, that's visceral. That's disdain, you know? And when they're seething at your success, these are people who are in secret competitions. So these are people that you probably made them look bad. They didn't like it. Um, because you was just being you. You know what I'm saying? And it's almost had you kind of like, look, you see how this person is frozen, you know, and that's what the fearless is about. Maybe you felt stuck, you know, in some way, like you couldn't move, but that's what they was hoping, you know, for anyway. This, this is also trying to get somebody stuck because now you got to figure out a way around this situation. So this is an obstacle. So there's little things they're doing to block your path, perhaps, like I said, in your career, just having a bunch of the dun dun sitting in a circle talking mess, you know, all them evil eyes watching all the negativity, you know, speaking ill words of other people um, is also like casting spells and sending voodoo juju hoodoo to somebody because words of spells, spells bond. There goes this emotional loss feeling. And this is another five, another challenge. This is another challenge. This could have been people gossiping and you found out you caught wind this also could be speaking to you know whilst you was dealing with the nonsense at the workplace you was also dealing with nonsense in your home environment where someone could have betrayed your trust that's what this 46 domestic harmony is about there was a breakup now you have to make a decision to move on you know there was a demise of a partnership a marriage a love ship um but you did what you had to do to heal thyself you can see clearly you know what i said taking the necessary time to heal thyself He's, a, he's putting his own hands on his heart chakra, which means he is the one responsible for healing thyself. When you heal thyself, you learn to love thyself. When you love thyself, then you know thyself. And now you're ready to love because you know your love language. You know you what you deserve. You know what you desire. We have new addition. If it isn't love playing. So you realize that someone genuinely didn't love you. And it was through their treatment of you, through the manipulation of you, through the constant gossiping and talking and defamation of character and trying to throw you under the bus and malign you. You had to heal from the backstabbing. You had to heal from all of that nonsense. Why is this 46 domestic harmony, the ancestors card, mantras, ready to love here for who or what our beloved Scorpios are attracting to them? This is a money slash love card uh, reading here. We was trying to focus on, okay, so this card's, okay, I'm not taking all those. I'm not taking them. Let me get my cards a bang, bang, boogie. Thank you, spirit. And this is the card. And so we have discontent and boredom. So that's exactly what I was feeling as well. It's just like there's no fulfillment here. Um, feel like you're missing out on opportunities that you really truly desire. Look at all that sun, all that raw, you know what I'm saying? All that love, that healthy energy you need, all that prana that you could be out there breathing in fresh air and you sitting in the house, you know, letting the four, four walls close in on you, stuck in your mind, you know, and spirit is clearly trying to say like, look, you know, there's some other opportunities that you could be embarking upon. This is not the end all be all of you. Um, so I do feel like there's a sense of like, you know, recovering, uh, rejuvenating yourself. Um, if this is a, another person, um, I feel that there is a sense of boredom, you know, with you not in their life or some sort of, you know, um, 
feeling like a missed opportunity. There goes that magician, the magi, someone do, does realize that you are an alchemist. You are a master manifester, that you have really taken your power back in that sense. And you are fully aware of your abilities and capabilities uh, with if it isn't love. I feel like that was you, you know, making a decision to part ways, to move on, to take action. So we have movements. I just said to move on choices, decisions. This will be what's hidden. So we have, look at this. I can't make this up. We got this stank energy and it was sitting right in the aisle it needs to be in or right in the thing. All right. So we have this uh, throat chakra here. So the throat chakra is definitely uh, you speaking and expressing your truth now. Also tapping into your divinity um, creatively, artistically, expressively. Um, but there's also potentially a conversation someone wishes to have with you as well. Um, we have the temptation card. This temptation card is someone that could have been, um, cause that temptation deals with the devil. So this can, you know, absolutely speak to maybe someone being a workaholic, someone really focused on, you know, money and material possessions and not really on, uh, their spiritual, um, endeavors you know their spiritual connection to the all and that's why you know there could be some discontent and boredom because there is no connection to the divine or no um ability to discern when spirit is communicating as they are here it's like this person doesn't even see that there are you know angles all around them there's messages all around them but they're sitting here stuck in their head and stressed and um just feeling stuck period uh with this universe, I feel you're moving on. You've graduated, elevated, and it's because you were dealing with uh, these deceptive, envious, jealous, envy um, energies, and you are absolutely protected because you felt it. <laughs> you felt their nasty energy. You felt their intentions. Like you felt it. Um, you didn't initially, but you learned from your mistakes. This is when you take onus and accountability. You can actually heal. You could actually learn. You start to tap in and develop stronger intuition. And this is when you level up. The universe is the same as the world card. So I do feel that you have reached a deeper, more profound, understanding, omni-standing, overstanding of you of your relationships, of the world, of how to navigate. You've tapped into your Christ consciousness. You've reached that level of self-mastery. And that's what this rebirth is all about because now you are someone different. You're not operating and functioning out here the same way you were prior to getting three swords in your, in, in your, um, in your chest. And you're not dealing with people who are disloyal, people who don't have... Um, you know, like a moral compass. Remember we had morale, uh, moral playing. Um, so with this deception and envy, you're not playing with these fools. You're, you're, you're creating distance. You're creating space. Someone is jealous because you've graduated, elevated, ascended, you've matured, you're moving on. And that's what they're jealous of. This is someone, like I said, that smiles in your face. They wear a mask. This is a fake friend. This is a frenemy. This is an enemy. This is someone that could be a boss. This is definitely someone that, you know, you work with. I feel work dynamics because the devil deals with, you know, money as well, jobs, um, employers. So you had some folks probably, maybe you got somebody there at the job that uh, um, could be trying to tempt you. Because remember, we had panties playing earlier. So that could have been someone who could have just been trying to get into the panties. Somebody could have been lusting after you, becoming obsessed or uh, possessive. We have third eye chakra here. So that's the first eye. Remember, the first eye did come out here. I call it the first eye, the spiritual eye. So that's what spirit is telling you to use your intuition, use discernment. Remember, we started the reading and it was 555 on the clock uh, when I started the official reading, which broke down to 156. And we have it's yours. So whatever you want, whatever you desire, it's already yours. Uh, someone may be trying to con you know, convince you that it isn't. Someone could be just trying to start little flames, have you up in your head. The spirit is saying whatever you desire, whether it be in relation to your finances, a career, um, whether it be in re re regards to business, it's your, it's already yours. Even if it's in regards to love, it's yours. You've just got to, the ignorance, don't let these people get in your head and have you stuck in two minds and have you confused. You have to always use discernment. 
um, when it comes to folks because people's intentions aren't pure. And we see that because they're deceptive and they're envious of you. And so they may try to mind up you, gaslight you, have you stuck and confused and conflicted and have you in this woe is me type of energy, feeling discontent and bored. Meanwhile, spirit is selling, telling you also protect yourself and protect yourself by always trusting that gumption, always trusting your intuition. We also saw that three, um, you know, when we started the reading as well, which is your uh, solar plexus. So that's the sun that shines within and spirit wants you to trust what you feel in your gut. Um, but don't allow somebody to do this to you. Um, with it's yours. We got red man can't wait. Uh, so some of y'all are impatient and that's the reason why, uh, you could possibly get caught up if you don't, you know, be patient in this process. Uh, but whoever this is, you know, gossiping, I feel like whoever's coming in is you have new love, you have new, you know, is, is joy is peace. We saw that ace of pentacles. Somebody could be proposing. They could be marriage in your future. They could be a, a plethora of, of um, good energy, good vibrations coming in for you, which is going to lead to this. You know, people always, they hate what they can't duplicate. People are just so miserable. It's not even funny. And um, don't let them have you here. Have this. Always use discernment. Always use uh, your first eye to see. I want to get one more message because I'm not feeling this ugly energy here. Let me get one more message. One more message for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. Did anything fall out? No, I thought it did. Okay. Let me get one more message from my beloved Scorpios, and then we're going to wrap it up. This is another deep dive. My bads for all of y'all looking for shorter readings. There it goes. I knew I needed to get some more messages. We got the passion. This is what you're doing. New beginnings, following your passion, following your bliss, following what you love. So look at this. You got this beautiful energy of wishes fulfilled. So you are absolutely getting your just due. We have this new energy of building new partnerships and alliances. So this could be speaking in relation to, you know, like I said, new contracts, new job opportunities, job offers, promotions, uh, pay increases. Spirit is saying, take your time, get things right. This is the waiting game. And you're never supposed to just wait, twiddling your thumbs, waiting for something to plop in your lap, knock on your door. Still supposed to be busy, you know, so the seeds that you sow um, will harvest as long as you nurture and cultivate them. And so um, we also have the solar plexus. I just spoke to the solar plexus. So this is that gumption. This is knowing something's coming. This is also staying true to yourself. Um, this is also, you know, being very strong, um, being very confident in your decision. Uh, make sure that you feel confident. But there's a wish fulfillment coming in. And that's why there's a lot of lips flapping, a lot of chatty patties out here because they're jealous. Not only do you have love coming, but you also have new opportunities. You have new alliances you're building with folks. Um, and this is making some folks jelly because their lives are stuck and stagnant, which is what they was trying to do to you. So it's almost like whatever they was trying to do to you is what their um, karma will be. Uh, so they will be stuck. They will be stagnant. Things won't work for them. Things won't progress because that's the energy that they were operating in. And, uh, you know, God don't like ugly. So like I said, there's also an air of protection around you. Uh, as we saw, Spirit is also saying utilize these different um properties to protect yourself uh get yourself a piece of black tourmaline raw black tourmaline um you could place them in the corners of each room in your house and it just you know rids any negative energy it wards off negative energy uh you could get florida water you could mop your floors wipe your walls wash down your front door um with florida water that too repels any negative energy you could burn palo santo and sage that's a very good way to, you know, release any negative energy, get out any toxicity. It even purifies um, the air from what I understand. When I was uh, sick with, you know, CV a few weeks ago, I um, was burning Palo Santo and sage and, you know, just to kind of get rid of any type of, uh, you know, germs in the, in the air, you know, so nobody else contracted it. Um, and it helped along with the Lysol, it, it definitely helped. But, you know, singing bowls, that changes the vibration and frequency in your home. And of course, candles, you know, keeping a candle lit for the ancestors to give them light so they can guide you. Um, but definitely utilize, this was here, utilize these properties, utilize these different um, techniques or methodologies to protect yourself. Because you do got some negative energy around you. And I do feel like you're aware of that. I feel like you have been made aware 
of you know the individuals who could have been plotting individuals who could have been you know gossiping individuals who could have been trying to align you know malign you um sabotage set you up um so now you're kind of looking around in awareness uh but i feel there's definitely regardless of what they're trying to block what they're trying to you know delay it's coming you know wishes will be fulfilled this card has come out a couple of times um during your readings uh as of late as well so this is a reading thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in until next time i send a big fat ashe yo i will be uploading another video <laughs> so that you can get a shorter video i apologize but i just got into the groove all right i thank you all for tuning in and tapping in until next time send a big fat ashe yo if this reading did resonate with you all please be kind reciprocate the love like it share it definitely subscribe to the soul tribe to all of my a1s day ones i appreciate you mwah, mwah, mwah. and if you're interested in booking a spiritual consultation with me please check the link in the description box below it'll take you to my etsy shop and you can do your bookings there till next time send a big fat out peace love light